Back in March, we went into the family guest room and had a look around and kind of thought, this is chaos, we need a bit of luxury in here, we need a bit of, of relaxation for, for the families because that's what this project, what it's all about. So we went and went back to the desk, sat down for a while, decided what way we were going to do it, came up with our drawings, did some design of joinery work so that we could take all the toys from the floor, put them all away. We have some lovely furniture coming in, in the form of a nice couch. We decided to take away the island or peninsula unit that was there so that we could put in a dining table because it was apparent that nobody was actually using it. So it was wasteful from that perspective. We decided to remove the red backsplash and tile because we felt that that would just be a little bit more subtle. And then our use of colors in that particular environment, we wanted to create a little bit more homely but stylish for people to sit and relax and be encouraged to use it more. We were very lucky because uh, two strong builders came in in the form of Chris and Gary from Malmac who said, everything is no problem, we'll help, we'll do the construction work on it and get it up and running. We've always done the lower tier charity work and donations and stuff, but we never got our teeth into something that we orchestrated ourselves. Mm. So it's, it's nice to know that you, you took something from scratch and formulated it. Yeah. We haven't done yeah. anything to this, this no. scale, yeah. no. scale before. But it's hard, it's hard to put a revamp to one area without having a knock-on effect into another area. When you, when you tour the building, it was definitely in need of it. And uh, it being the only children's hospice, it was definitely no better cause. And it's not until you're unfortunate enough to go through an experience like that, that you'd appreciate this facility. It gripped me, it's, it's, this is something that Daphne would, would like to be involved when in. She mentioned the renovation and it was sort of sitting on the shelf. It could cost a few pounds, we'll maybe need to sit down and see what all's involved. But he, he, he just says, listen, should the four of us, whatever it is, we'll, we'll walk it between ourselves. As part of the project, we have four bedrooms en suites and Lisa and I, when we came in and looked at those, we thought, okay, this is not five-star luxury, this looks like a hospital environment and we needed to recreate it to try and encourage a more relaxing environment. So we took out the hospital end of the en suites, replaced them with tiling to create more so a hotel environment. We started with some different fabrics for different rooms. We took the approach that we were going to do each room differently and to try and create that luxury that Laurelin was looking for. Belinda got into real depth with the finishing touches and just right down to the lighting in the right places, the, the curtains and the blinds. Probably the area as designers we struggled the most was with the butterfly suite. How do you make a space like that feel better? It's impossible to do because of its pure function. We've done it in the basis of using neutral colours so that it can be used for boys or girls in the future. The families can add their own colour to it, you know, for the personality of their child. So we've kept it as neutral as possible, but to try and give it a little bit of luxury. The other part of the project that we were working on was the staff room, which we have certain limitations in what we can do in there because obviously it has to be a very sterile environment for, for infection control. We're lucky that there's lots of fabrics available in the market that we could use. So at the moment they're leather, but we were able to source a fabric which is fit for purpose in that environment. But it'll add a bit of colour to it. Uh, we're changing the, the red floor that's there at the moment. And we are putting in a new flooring which will look like a plank floor, which again was donated to us for, for this project. It's the simple things in life that make actually all the difference when you need to have your headspace, you know, when you're dealing with very emotional issues on a daily basis. Could it be a completely different experience now, like it'll feel more like a hotel. hotel. Working for a charity and putting all the work in to get the end result is hugely rewarding because you work with so many people who are as equally enthusiastic about it as you are and nothing can prepare you for what that feeling is like when you're moving, uh, you know, from trying to move from one area to another with different schemes and how you're going to pull them together. And the fact that everybody has rolled in has been phenomenal.